Stefan here. Uh, we're at the uh, Mullaney uh, Wood Expo and uh, I'm here with uh, Rocky Creek Strings uh, at their uh, booth. And this is, uh, you know, the two years on from when we uh, spoke at the uh, Woodford, at the um, National Folk Festival, in fact. And uh, I just thought I'd uh, have a bit of a chat with uh, John and Melanie and uh, Perhaps we can start with um, what's changed in the last couple of years. What do we have? Oh, well, a lot's changed really. Um, we've done a lot more ex, a lot more exhibits, a lot more uh, festivals. We've branched out into specific ukulele festivals. We did two last year, uh, a week apart in Newcastle, and then one in Melbourne. And that was great because uh, that's a very dedicated market for us. And uh, they hadn't, we hadn't been there before, so a lot of them had never seen the instruments. And we got a lot of positive feedback from that. So that's been a real change. Um, one of the other things, we did a big road trip last year, five weeks and four festivals and um, terrific feedback from, from those festivals. But probably the biggest thing that's changed is um, this little baby. This is the minstrel model. It's a tenor uke. Uh, and it comes in a four and a five and an eight string. But I'll let John talk to you about the timbers that are involved. Hi. Um, the timbers here are all from Cyclone Larry. And there's a bunya pine for the top and Queensland maple for the back, silky oak for the sides and rosewood for the, for the neck. And Cyclone Larry hit the far north coast of Queensland and destroyed the forest. Now we're recycling the forest wow. into what we feel are beautiful instruments. So we'll probably see some more when, from Debbie. Well, you know, I've already spoken to my tree man and he tells me that Debbie did a lot of damage. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, so they've, but they've been really moving quite quickly and um, it's a step up for us. Hmm. So two years ago you were doing banjos, doing quite a few banjos, yes. and is that, is that a feature still? Or? We're still doing banjos, yeah, um, and there's actually been a resurgence of interest in the little banjo ukuleles. Um, they're still popular, the pineapples are popular, but this, the new one has a, a very, very sweet sound. I might just give you a, a demo of the sound. I can't quite play. Yeah. And then the five string is the one that's really been selling very well. And it's, it's got a really full sweet sound. Having the extra, having the extra string gives it a, a fullness, so you've got an octave G. Mostly it's the high note that most, the high, sorry, the low G that most of them have. And having the double makes a big difference. And there'll be a, a clip very soon on our website and our Facebook of uh, the famous ukulele, UK ukulele player Peter Moss Ooh. playing one of these at for us at the Newcastle Festival mm. from last year and it's a version of Autumn Leaves, it's just magic, just mm. magic. Yeah, so. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, thanks guys and uh, look, uh, if you want to find out more about Rocky Creek Screens, uh, do to find them on the link which will be in the video here and look, you guys are always able to be ring, ring you up yes. and uh, you can get a custom one made or you can, uh, you can choose from the wonderful array that uh, you see here and uh, yeah, check them out. Thanks everyone. Thanks.